Let's take a look at whether H2CO is polar or nonpolar. This is formaldehyde. So we'll start with our Lewis structure here and we want to look at the bonds. So if we look at the carbon here and the hydrogen, so carbon is 2.55, hydrogen is 2.20. So there's not a big difference in electronegativity. That means the pair of electrons here shared in this covalent bond, they're pretty much shared equally. When we look at the bond between this oxygen and carbon here though, carbon again 2.55, oxygen 3.44. So that's a pretty big difference. And that means the electrons in this bond here, they're gonna spend more time with the oxygen. That'll make it more negative than the rest of the molecule here will be more positive. So we'll have a polar molecule. Let's try to visualize that. So here's our formaldehyde. We have our carbon, our two hydrogens, and our oxygen. If we look at the surface of the molecule, we'll see that this red area is more negative, the blue is more positive. So just like we expected, the red area will be around the oxygen and then the hydrogens down here, they're more positive, a little green in the middle. So H2CO is a polar molecule. It has poles, it has a net dipole. This is Dr. B answering the question whether C2HO is polar or nonpolar. It is polar because of the difference in electronegativity between the oxygen and the carbon there. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.